Thank you so much for joining me today on Just Praise Him Radio. I'm your host, Glenda Lomax, and my job is to inspire you to a closer walk with Christ. Now here's the show. Hello, believers. Welcome to the Just Praise Him radio program. I'm your host, Glenda Lomax, and today we're going to talk about, we're going to do a prophetic word review on the prophetic messages the Lord has given us about the coming war. Uh, I thought that would be a good subject for us to talk about. Please excuse my dogs barking in the background. So the first message I got back on June 9th, 2011, it's called, There Shall Be Weeping and Mourning in America. So I was praying and asking the Lord on this June 9th, 2011, if he had any word for everybody for a Thursday night's blog talk program. And this is what he said. Indeed, I do have a word for you, my child, and for all my people and those who are not yet mine. Tell them I love them with a love that won't die. I am the one who will never leave them, never be untrue. I long to see them living happy, fulfilled lives, not lives filled with empty, fleeting pleasures. I long for them to be found in me during the coming storm so I can protect them, provide for them, and keep them safe from harm, but so many see me as weak or cruel because they have no understanding. They have settled for the wisdom of the world instead of seeking my wisdom. They have built for themselves strong houses of refuge, which they think will protect them from disaster, but they are mistaken. For they know not what disasters I have in store for those who deny me, and their strong houses will not save them. This wealth will not protect them, nor shall their wisdom deliver them from my mighty hand, for I see the plans they have made and the wickedness in their hearts. They have set themselves up gods that cannot save. They have made themselves into the gods of this world, but I shall show them in that time that they are no gods at all but weak and feeble and ignorant of true wisdom. They shall find themselves lacking in that time. And who will protect them then? Who shall save you from my mighty hand of judgment, O foolish man? They shall be trapped in their own snares in that time, and great shall be the destruction that falls on them then. I will that they would turn to me and be saved and not perish, but they refuse to hear me and turn from their wickedness. Woe to those who are wise in their own sight, for I shall bring their wisdom to nothing before their eyes. Woe to them who devise wicked schemes against my people for their own gain, for they shall not escape my mighty hand of judgment at all. Woe to them who refuse to help the poor and the helpless when they are able, for they themselves shall be in want. Famine comes soon to the land of America. The land known for plenty shall soon lack the food to feed even her own people. For my mighty hand of judgment is on this land. Store up, my people. Store up grain to feed your little ones. For it shall come upon you quickly and without warning, and it, in, and it is indeed coming soon. Store up my word in your hearts, for it shall be a comfort to you in these days of sorrow. There shall be great weeping and mourning in America, for her time is near to know my judgments. But here shall my glory also be known among my people. For in this time of great darkness, my mighty power shall shine brightly among my chosen ones. Okay, this next word is dated July 24th, 2015. It's called O America. O America, America, the nation once so bright for my name. You have sealed your fate with your wicked ways and the days left for you are numbered. Then horrors shall fill your streets. The dead will outnumber the living, and the sounds of war will fill the ears of your people. As you have trampled over others, so shall your enemies now trample over you. Your people shall rummage for food where once it was abundant. They will thirst for pure water, because they have rejected me, the living water. They shall cry for mercy, but find none, as they have shown none to my people. Prepare to meet your fate, America. You have been weighed and found wanting. Your reign of power has come to its end. Okay, this next word is dated February 8th, 2017, and it's called Ready for War. My children, prepare for the war that is coming to America. This will not be a war fought in other countries, but a war fought in your own streets. You will see many you know die before your eyes. 
There is dissension brewing in the heart of America, and it will soon boil over. America, though greeted by smiles, also has many enemies. The combination of the two shall be her downfall. My people are not ready for war, for they hesitate even at using the weapons I have left them in my word. They are a people faint of heart, unaccustomed to seeing bloodshed, and not courageous for battle. My people, do you not know I am a god of war? Do you not know I am coming back for the final battle against all evil? Why then do you shy away from the battle before you? Why are my churches filled with smiling impostors who cannot even face their own sins? How do you plan to survive what is on its way to you? Do you think courage shall suddenly overtake you and you will be filled with faith? My servant David did not learn faith and courage from doing nothing, but from battling the enemies he met on the way to where he was going. First the lion, then the bear, then the armies who came against Israel. If you have no courage now, you will have no courage then, and you will fall to the hands of the enemy. Do not be foolish in believing otherwise. This next word is dated April 24th, 2017. It's called War is at Hand. And in my original notes, but not on the original post, just before I got this word, I felt a cry come up in my spirit suddenly on a Saturday evening, just before 8 p.m., for great grief that was coming. Great grief over what was coming. My people, hold up in your homes, for war is at hand, and you should not be on the highways and byways when it strikes, for you will be very regretful if you are. You cannot stop this from transpiring. Only pray you for mercy for those not yet saved, for I will save many by your prayers, and I will show you mercy as well if you will spend your time thus. Your life as you know it is about to change forever, and it will never be put back the same way again. This must be, and you must endure and watch for my soon return. Draw near to those you love and speak your words of love now, for many shall be taken from you. Plagues are about to be released as well, and you will not see them coming, meaning the plagues. And by the way, that was plagues, plural. I have suffered very long with this adulterous nation, and I have grown weary of your abominations in my sight. A stiff-necked people walks its streets with no intention of ever repenting. I warn my own in my great mercy, but the wicked shall perish in their sins. Only those being interceded for by my children shall be saved. Occupy until I come by doing the works you know are of me. Tell others of me at every chance. Be about my father's business and do not deny me before men, no matter the cost. Okay, this next word is dated January 9th, 2018, and it's called the price of war. My children, a time of unimaginable grief approaches for you. There is no way to prepare you for this level of grief when all you know shall be taken away. You can only draw near to me for comfort, for no other comfort can be had in that time. In this time, death and destruction will reign. War will ravage your lands, and it will become commonplace to encounter dead bodies in your streets, for there shall not be enough places or enough living to bury them all. The price of war is always high, but the price of this war will be higher. For this war will destroy more than any war before it. It will take more lives and destroy more cities than any war in the history of the earth. Show the love you have for your families now, for in this time many of them shall be taken from you. In this time means in the time of the war. Shall be ta- many of them shall be taken from you. Enjoy the comforts you have now, for soon they shall also be taken and without warning. Your lives will change in the blink of an eye, and you will be forced to adapt to conditions you never dreamt possible. Remember, I am your comfort. I am your help. I am your Savior, and there is none other. Okay, this next word is dated February 2nd, 2018. It's called the Valley of the Shadow of Death. In the time of the end, my people shall demonstrate my great power, and none shall harm them that obey me except according to my will. In this time shall there be many plagues, and disaster of every kind will abound. But I will not put the plagues I put on Egypt on my people who obey me. They shall be sheltered and kept safe. Though they walk through the valley of the shadow of death, they shall fear no evil, 
for I am with them. My people, though many comforts shall be taken away, you who obey me shall not be without comfort, for I have ordained before time that you shall have all you need and more, even as you live in a war-ravaged land, even as famine abounds, even as those who seek your death pursue you, for I will do many mighty works through you in the time of the end. Okay, so those are all things that will be for those who obey him. Okay, so keep that in mind. Okay, this next word is dated January 17th, 2019, and it's called Overrun. I was praying for America the day before, yesterday morning, and praying for the senators and congressmen, praying that the Lord would shake everyone concerned awake and make them realize this government shutdown has to end. I guess there was a shutdown going on there. I was praying out loud and asking for an end times podcast for God's people to prepare them for. And I was about to say these end times when I heard war and overrun. And I saw a flash vision of people running in America's streets and our coastlines being overrun with enemy troops. And no one was able to run far before they were killed. Our people are no match for these soldiers. That was clear to see. They were large soldiers. Whoever they were, they were wearing brownish green uniforms and they were big men. It was obvious to me we were well outnumbered, whoever they were. Lord, what is this you are showing me? My child, there is much my sheep must go through before the end of these times in your world. America is on the brink of war, though she does not know this outright. Because her back is turned to me, I will not protect her as her enemies overrun her, and many, many lives will be lost. Many, many families will be unprotected as they do not know me. And I heard collapse. The eyes of America are, are on its government, and while it is distracted, the enemies of America are preparing. As a predator strikes the weakest of the herd, so will they also strike America when she is in a weakened state and bring down her government. They will go for the head, and as America has uncovered herself for all to see her flaunt her indecencies and her abominations, she has no protection, and her enemies will succeed. I am already calling them forth. And by the way, that's scriptural. Prepare for war is coming to your streets in America, my people. This is only the beginning. Much is coming for my people in other nations as well. Nations that think they do not need me will soon see their need for me. Nations who have turned from me, who have rejected my ways and my holy word will soon see which of us is God, for I will show them my mighty power. Pray for the protection of all you hold dear. Pray for the lost among you. Pray I will hide you in the shadow of my mighty wings. Okay, this next word is dated February 8th, 2019, and it's called, I will draw a line. My people, and I heard great sadness in his voice when he spoke, a very great war is coming, which will affect all peoples. During this war, violence will overtake your lands, and that's lands plural. The enemy is preparing the hearts of his people for this war. Tensions are increasing quickly. It is not long until it begins. Many, many souls will be lost to the kingdom of darkness in this war. Those souls who are not rooted and grounded in me will stand no chance. For my people, I will be the difference in what is coming to your land. Just as I drew a line in Goshen for my people Israel who followed my servant Moses, so will I draw a line for my people. I will punish the servants of Satan in this the time of this war and you shall see it but my punishment shall not come near those who serve me with their whole hearts i shall guide you and provide for you and only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked this war will be a very sad time for all mankind for the destruction will be very great great cities and lands shall be lost forever in this war bodies will lie rotting in your streets for it will not be safe to bury your dead when this happens, know the end is very near and you have little time left in the earth. Tell men of my coming, for it is very near now. Tell them to give their hearts to me, for I am coming back soon to gather my children to me. Tell them that they not suffer in eternity without my great love. Okay, this next word is dated August 11th, 2020. And it's called Civil War. And for anybody who doesn't know, all these words are available to read on just praise him dot today. It's called civil war. Prepare your houses for civil war. An act of violence will occur that sets off a chain reaction across America. And I said, how do we prepare our houses, Lord? 
My daughter, you must prepare for the loss of utilities, the loss of services and food. Food will become scarce. Medical care will become scarce. Prepare against thieves who break in and steal, for many will become desperate in this time. Most of all, prepare your faith, knowing I am with you in all that happens. Violence will be widespread as men give way to their baser instincts and as many give up hope and give way to their flesh. Pray without ceasing that you will be protected in this time and for your loved one's protection also. This war will be followed closely by another larger war as enemies invade and overcome America for the time of her judgment is now. Prepare your hearts for you will lose many loved ones in this time as the end of all things approaches. Okay, and I had a note on here. Though the Lord said pray without ceasing, you and your loved ones will be protected. He also said we will lose many loved ones in this time. This would seem to be a contradiction, but it isn't. Sometimes someone is taken because it is their time, even though we prayed they would stay here. Sometimes someone's survival depends on their obedience in something he tells them to do or not do, just like ours, and they do not obey. Okay, the next word is dated September 2, 2020, and it's called One at a Time. My children in America have grown accustomed to their lives of plenty. Unlike other nations, America is not at war. America does not have widespread poverty. We do have poverty over here, though, y'all. America is steeped in privilege because I have blessed her. I am the God of all blessings. All good things come from me, and all good things can be taken away by me. America has turned her back on me and strives to remove me from every place I am within her borders, one at a time. I am taking my blessings away from America, one at a time. I am taking peace from America. The drums of a war will soon be heard from shore to shore. Then a larger war will rage within her shores. There will be much death and suffering of every kind. Even as America fights against her enemies, sickness and plagues will abound in her. I have removed my hand of blessing from this nation, and she is blessed no more. I will no longer protect her from her enemies. I will not prosper her among nations. I will not bless her with peace. I will break her staff of bread. She is casting me out, and my blessings go with me. Be still, my precious children, for I am protecting you. Even in war, you can be hidden in me. For too long, the people of America have disregarded my blessings. Now I remove them one by one. Okay, this next word is dated November 19th, 2020, and it's called War Will Overtake the Land. Prepare for war will overtake the land. Do you know what war brings, my children? It brings the deaths of those you hold most dear, your young men, your husbands, your fathers. It brings famine, sickness, disease. It brings with it grief in full measure, according to the grief of my heart caused by this callous nation, America, that has not decried the slaughtering of innocent lives. And what he's saying there is he's saying, I'm going to let a war come that's going to bring you the grief that you've brought me. Prepare your houses for war, my children, for war is coming. Okay, this next word is dated January 3rd, 2022, and it's called, You Have Cast Me Out. My nation, America, has turned away from me. She has rejected me and thrown me out, so I will leave. I will leave her for her enemies to destroy. I will leave her with no mercy for all those she has had no mercy on. And I put in parentheses, I saw Native American slaves, aborted babies, and more. I will leave her to the reign of the spirit of murder for all those she has murdered and been indifferent to. Your enemies will rush in in a day, and they will burn you with fire, America. All your beauty and all your wealth will be in rubble and ashes in that day, and I will not save you, for you have cast me out. You have cast me out of your governance. You have cast me out of your schools. You have cast me out of your homes. Every day you cast me out more. You refuse to acknowledge my sovereignty. You refuse to honor my great name and my holy word. You mock my son's sacrifice in your streets, and this I will not tolerate. You have cast me out, so I will go away from you. I will watch from afar as your enemies consume you, and your people who are called by your name and not mine beg for scraps of food in your streets. You have cast me out, so I will leave you to your enemies who shall destroy you without mercy. 
but my own, I will show mercy. My own shall have food to eat as they praise me, even in darkness, even in desperation. My people I will in no wise cast out. My people I will provide for and shelter until I call them home to me. I shall be very merciful to them as they witness of me. I have a people who will still praise me amidst the rubble of this once mighty nation, and I shall provide for them and shelter them under the shadow of my mighty wings. But the people of America, those who refuse to acknowledge me in the pride of their own strength, those who mock me, I will leave to find their own way since they have rejected mine. Okay, I have two more words to read and then I'm going to summarize all this for you. This word is dated February 22, 2022, and it's called This War. My children in America do not understand what the war coming will bring to them. My children, you must begin praying now for protection over your lands and and your loved ones. Your nation will be destroyed, yes, but I am willing to show mercy to my own if they will pray and not cease praying. Pray for the lost among you, my children, and I will grant you what you need and what you desire. This war will bring much destruction, not only to your nation, but to many others who will be pulled into it by one side or another. It will bring death into your streets, yea, even to your front doors in many cases. It will no longer be safe even to venture from your homes as the war arrives to your cities, and it will not be safe inside your homes either. Many will roam the streets looking for food as the soldiers that come will strip the land of all there is to eat. An enormous army approaches, and they will require many resources from you. What once what was once yours will no longer be under your control, but under theirs, as I give them victory over this nation that has cast me out. Lawlessness will abound, as there will be none to administer law except foreign soldiers who have no mercy on America's people. Prepare, America, for war is at your doorstep, and you will not like what it brings. You have chosen your own ways over mine, and I will no longer protect you from the consequences, but my own I will protect and care for. Okay, this last word is dated June 23, 2022, and it's called The Great War Coming. My children will grieve when the great war coming begins. You will see more death and destruction than you have ever seen anywhere in your world. Many of you will lose loved ones and suffer other losses. Communications will be stopped, and you will wonder who is gone and who is not. You will spend each day wondering what is next, fighting fear and longing to be here at your real home with me. All the earth will be in lack. Only my people who know me will have enough, as I will provide for them from my own hand. Men in their fear and grief will attack you and persecute you, as they see you have plenty and they have nothing. This is your chance to tell them of me. Those of my children who walk very closely with me now will not suffer the time to come as I will call you home before the great war. Okay. Now let's summarize what he told us across all those words. He said in the word in August 2020 that an act of violence would set off a chain reaction across America that would lead to a civil war which would be followed by another larger war as enemies invade and overcome America. And in that August 2020 word, he said, prepare for the loss of utilities, the loss of services and food. He said that food and medical care would become scarce and prepare against thieves who would break in and steal, but most of all to prepare your faith. And the way usually that your faith is prepared Usually, if God is preparing your faith, he will lead you into the wilderness and he will teach you to trust him. What you can do is choose to trust him. Ask him how you should do that. Okay. He said, we cannot stop this from transpiring, but he can still save many by our prayers. So don't stop praying and that we would be shown mercy by our praying for other people. Because we're praying for mercy for them, really. He also said, be about our father's business and not to deny the Lord, no matter what, no matter the cost. Now, no matter the cost means even if somebody's holding a gun to your head and they say, deny him or die, then you just say, sorry, can't deny him. If you deny him, there is no turning back from that. He said, in this time, if you deny him, if you deny him, that's it, you're done and you're not going to heaven. And he said that in another word, not one of these. He said, um, 
He said, hole up in your homes that we should not be on the highways and byways when it strikes or we'll wish that we weren't. I assume that that means don't take vacations and unnecessary trips. He said, plagues, plural, are about to be released and we will not see them coming. That means they will come without warning. He did not say who would be releasing them. He did say in that one word, I will not put on you, on my people, the plagues of Egypt. So it's possible he's releasing these because plagues are one of the judgments. Um, and he did say right after he said that about the plagues, he said that he has suffered long with this adulterous nation and grown weary of its abominations in his sight. And that made me think also that he was the one releasing them. The dead will outnumber the living and this war will destroy more than any war before it and will take more lives and destroy more cities than any war in the history of the earth. And that is saying something. That's huge. He said, enjoy the comforts we have now. And show our love for our families now, for our lives will change in the blink of an eye. And see, when that happens, your families may be taken suddenly. We don't know how it's going to happen. And that this time of the war will be a time of lawlessness and no communication. So you're not going to be able to just pick up the phone or get on the internet and communicate with someone. He said in another word that even though we lose our comforts, we will have all we need and more as we live in a war-ravaged land, even as famine abounds, even as those who seek our deaths pursue us, for he will do many mighty works through us in the time of the end, and that none shall harm those of us who obey him except according to his will. He said the army that comes will require many resources from us, and that what was once yours will no longer be under your control, but under that army's. God longs for us to be found in him during the coming storm so he may protect and provide for us. He said, woe to those who devise wicked schemes against his people for their own gain, for they will not escape his mighty hand of judgment. That we need to prepare our hearts for the coming losses in this war, and that basically those losses are everything we have. He said, many, many souls will be lost to the kingdom of darkness in the time of this great war. And that all those not rooted and grounded in him will stand no chance. And you know, I didn't find it, but there's a word that he gave us years ago that said so many souls would be taken in that night. And it was a nighttime event. And it made me think of the vision that I had back in 2008 of a nuclear missile attack on it, some big city in America. I was looking at a skyscraper, but I have no idea where it was. It was not anything I recognized. He will punish the servants of Satan in the time of this war, and we will see it. But he said the punishment will not come near us who serve him with our whole hearts. He said that America's enemies will rush in in a day, and they will burn America with fire, and all her beauty and all her wealth will be in rubble and ashes in that day, and he will not save her. To me, that sounds like nuclear type things. But he didn't say that. Even as all this happens, he said, his people who praise him will have food to eat, even as we praise him in darkness and desperation, and they will have shelter, and that he will be very merciful to us as we witness of him. But those who refuse to acknowledge him in the pride of their own strength, those who mock him, he will leave to find their own way since they have rejected his. Great cities and lands will be lost forever in this war. Bodies will lie rotting in the street as it will not be safe to bury our dead. And he said, when we see this, our time here is nearly over. As a predator strikes the weakest of the herd, so are the enemies of America preparing to strike her while she is in a weakened state and bring down her government and the enemies will succeed. He said America is on the brink of war, and as she has her back turned to him, he will not protect her as her enemies overrun her. America is not the only nation war is coming to. He said all nations who have turned from him, who have rejected his ways and his holy word, will soon see which of them is God as he shows his mighty power. He said pray for the protection of all you hold dear. Pray for the lost among you. Pray I will hide you in the shadow of my mighty wings. In all of this, in June 2022, he said, Those of my children who walk very closely with me now will not suffer the time to come, as I will call you home before the great war. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. His name be praised forever. He is the God of all mercy. Walk closely with him now. That's your best hope. Build your faith. Pray without ceasing.
I hope this podcast has been a blessing to you. Jesus bless you. Thanks for listening. Y'all have a great weekend. Thank you so much for tuning in today to Just Praise Him Radio. You can contact me by mail at my new address, JPH Inc., Glenda Lomax, P.O. Box 239, Turkey Creek, Louisiana, 70585, or by email at JPH Today, that's J P H T O D A Y, at gmail.com. JPH is not affiliated with any nonprofit organization, church, or denomination. Have you heard? The 2016 and 2017 messages have been published in book form. Even those who do not profess a belief in God can see something is amiss in the world around us. What is coming for our world in these last days? What does the Lord want us doing while we're waiting for His glorious reappearance? Time of Reckoning and Soon It Will Be Night each contain approximately 200 prophetic messages and visions from the throne room of God telling what is coming to America and the world in these end times. The Lord has always warned nations when they were headed for destruction. He has always warned His own people. Are we also being warned? Get your copy of Time of Reckoning and Soon It Will Be Night, available now on Amazon.com. What is in store for the once great and mighty nation of America in these end times? What is the living God saying to the people of America now? What could possibly be in store for a nation that once trusted in God, but has changed its path from following in the living God's ways to now removing Him from everything and walking the other way? In the book, No Longer Mind, you will find all the messages to America collected in one place in chronological order. No Longer Mind, Messages to an Unrepentant Nation is now available in print at wingsofprophecy.com in the bookstore tab. Get your copy of No Longer Mind today. Does your life feel like it's falling apart around you? Are multiple things going wrong all at once? Does it seem all your comforts have been stripped away? You may have entered the wilderness. Wilderness experiences are often times of great discomfort and lack. Every Christian must pass through the desert on the way to their promised land. Find out how to go from surviving to thriving by partnering with God as He leads you in the path that will strengthen your faith and prepare you to step into your destiny. The Wilderness Companion will help you find out why you have been led into the wilderness. Find out the biggest hindrances to receiving the provision you need in the wilderness. Find out what the seven temptations of the wilderness are. Learn how to partner with God in His purposes for you in the desert seasons. Get your copy of The Wilderness Companion today. The Wilderness Companion by Glenda Lomax on Amazon.com in print, Kindle, or audiobook.